Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the tort law. As we have seen in our previous video that what is the meaning of tort law, what are the sources of tort law and what are the kinds of harm that is considered under the tort. Okay? So, we have already discussed that is what is negligent act, what is intentional act and what is strict liability. And then we started discussing about the intentional tort. And while discussing the intentional tort, we have discussed the battery. And in this video, we will discuss the assault, the second term of intentional tort. Okay? So, we will see what is meaning of assault and what are the essential elements of assault and what are the remedies of assault. Okay? So, we will see that. And lastly, we will also check out what is the difference between battery and assault. Okay? So, let us begin with the meaning of the assault. Assault something that you can say you intentionally harm others that we have already seen while defining the battery. Even there you intentionally causing injury to other. But at that point in time while defining the battery we have used the term injury. Okay? Here we have also the term injury, we caused injury whether it is physical, mental or anything of such type. But here what is the thing that you did not apply actually the force, rather you threatened someone, you just verbally abused someone and you threatened at this level that caused the harm that person. Okay? So that is assault. Okay, let us check out what is the legal definition of assault. When the plaintiff has reasonable apprehension that the defendant intended to cause harm or injury through the infliction of a battery on him, it is known as assault. Okay? So, you need to focus on reasonable apprehension, the term that you need to focus on. That the defendant intended, again the next term that you need to focus on intention, intended to cause harm or injury through the infliction of a battery on him. It is known as assault. Okay? So, here what we have that is reasonable apprehension that the person is going to harm me okay? through any means that is through battery or of any such kind of thing. To be called as assault, the wrong must consist of an attempt to do harm rather than the harm being caused by thereby. So, intention is essentially required. It is not like that it happened accidentally. So, that not be considered as assault. To be called as assault, the conduct must be intentional and offensive causing plaintiff to fear of his or her safety. Okay? So, deliberately you need to focus on another term deliberately, intentionally. So, intentionally targeting that person. Someone came and intentionally targeting you and threatened you and about to beat you, about to hit you. Because of such reasonable apprehension, you faced certain mental injury, you can say like that. Of course, he did not apply any force. The moment he will apply the force, it will be called as battery. But at this point in time, he just threatened you. He may just show you some action that he will kill you, something like that. So, that is assault. Now, check out what are the essential elements of assault. An act or conduct. So, some act or conduct that is essentially required. Without that, how you can prove that? So, some action essentially required. The second one is a reasonable apprehension. 
so that action has to be intentional and that is targeted to you only so that you can reasonably understand it reasonably interpret that he is going to hit you or he is about to kill you something like that okay so there must be reasonable apprehension it's not like that if someone came to kill somebody just standing beside you and you just claiming that you uh, you got fear and you got injury because of that action so that is not possible in this case it must be directed towards you only the last one that is imminent harm imminent harm means that the person who is causing you injury or about to cause you injury threatened you basically it's not like that he threatened you i will kill you tomorrow or day after tomorrow or something like that if he is giving such kind of threatening then it won't be covered under the assault it has to be immediate it is not an immediate kind of thing okay so the action has to be immediate so likewise we have three essential elements of assault that is an act or conduct a reasonable apprehension and imminent harm okay now we will see that what is difference between assault and battery assault is the first stage of battery as we have discussed that once started the things once someone just took action to beat you maybe just taking some stone and about to throw until it is thrown at you it is known as assault but the moment it is thrown at you and that a stone hits you then it is battery okay otherwise it is assault battery means actually causing physically mentally or and emotional harm to someone without justification you remember the justification if you justify by any means legally then it is not battery but if you not then it is a battery okay so battery means actually causing physical mental or emotional harm okay for assault threat is enough whereas for battery application of force without any lawful justification is required okay it's the same thing next one is for assault no physical contact is required whereas for battery direct or indirect physical contact is required okay so the moment someone contacted you through direct means or indirect means that becomes battery otherwise it is assault for assault defendant is intended to threaten the plaintiff so in the assault the person has the intention to threat you not to beat you not to hit you whereas for battery defendant actually causing harm so in battery what is happening here actually substantially causing harm okay so that is the major differences between battery and assault i believe you must understood the concept of assault so this is all for this video in next video we will discuss another type of intentional tort that is false imprisonment in the meantime you revise these two three videos that will help you to understand the concept in a better way so see you in next video